Hey, if you ever doubted that the politicians forcing you to pay for their wonderful plans actually really, really care about you, get ready for this one. In New Jersey, they care so much, they've recruited Santa to propagandize you to shove gene vector injections into your kids. Hi everyone, I'm Gardner Goldsmith for MRC TV and Merry Christmas. You know, this one is a story that perhaps would better fit the early version of the Grinch. Not only will your cash immorally be taken to fund all kinds of immoral government activities from the federal, state, and local levels all the way to the international level, if you live in New Jersey, your health department, and by the way, you know that's the bureaucracy that people of the founding era clearly thought was the reason to create a government. Yeah, the health department will use your absconded tax cash to fund a great new propaganda campaign aimed at sucking your kids into demanding they get injected with the COVID jab. <laughs> In the video, a child is seen writing a letter to Santa explaining that he doesn't want games or toys for Christmas. He just wants a dose of the COVID vaccine. <laughs> While a narrator tells viewers that this holiday season, there's no better gift than peace of mind. Get vaccinated today. Of course, children are near zero chance of contracting, getting sick from or spreading COVID-19. Just what exactly is one to take away from this? Is this about health? Well, that seems impossible because there's virtually no chance that the health of children is endangered. So what is this about? It seems to be about control and the ability to spend parental tax cash to undermine parental control of their kids. The government doesn't mention the fact that kids don't need any of these jabs. The government doesn't mention the potential downsides of these jabs. All it does is propagandize for jabs that, should they harm the kids, the feds have immunized the makers from liability suits. <laughs> try that in a free market. And try getting the state of New Jersey to shower cash on advertising your product to kids. Between this and the failing government school systems, is it any wonder that parents are more vigilant than ever about keeping their kids away from government agencies? Yeah, I seem to remember long, long ago, there was a figure in history who had a lot of problems because of government trying to interfere with individual free will and the connection to God. Hmm. Well, anyway, Merry Christmas, and thank you so much for joining me here. If you get a chance, check us out on Rumble, watch us on YouTube, and of course, find us at mrctv.org. For MRC TV, I'm Gardner Goldsmith.